Hey, how's it going? My name is Andy, and today I'm going to show you guys another one of my personal projects that I built. Um, this one is called Mudkip. It's a progressive web app. Um, and what that means is basically you can install, install it as an app on your phone uh, through the web. So despite the name, it, it's actually a, a job search app that helps you keep track of your job applications and also helps you find jobs. So um, this is the home screen right now. Uh, you can log in or sign up. So to sign up, you actually scroll down like this, but I actually have an account ready for us so we can actually scroll up to log in. So our, so my account, let's see, it's demo and also password when we sign in. Okay, so this is all of our job lists. Um, basically a job list holds uh, all the jobs that you apply to for that list. So maybe you wanna separate out the jobs that you wanna to apply to. So we're gonna create a new job list real quick. We already have a list one, so let's just add a list two. Okay, a list two. Now let's click on list two. So this so this job list right here, it should show all the jobs that you saved. Right now there's no jobs because we haven't added any. We just created this list. So to, to add a job, we actually click this plus button down here in the nav bar and it should pop up a form that we can fill out. But um, that's, uh, that's kind of boring. Uh, we don't want to do that for every job. So we can actually search for jobs if we click on this globe and in the globe in the nav bar and then now when we search for a position let's say we want to search for a react position in nyc okay let's new york new york where are you there you go so when you hit search it should populate with data for um like job data and all this job data is coming from zip recruiter so uh zip recruiter doesn't have a public api uh, they have a private one that you have to um like apply for and wait a response on so I had a deadline to meet for this project. So basically I used uh, Nokogiri, which is uh, a gem in, in, in Ruby. And it helped me basically just web scrape uh, ZipRecruiter to get all this job data. So to get more information about each job, you can actually just click on the job link. Like let's say this web developer react position in uh, Stanford, I wanna click on this job link and it takes uh, me to the site where it'll give me more information, it even gives me like a compensation salary right here. So let's say, you know, I like it. I want to add it to my dashboard. So I click the save button. When I click save, it gets added to my dashboard. If we go, this is a show page. So if we go back to our dashboard, you see right here, web developer react, it gets saved to our dashboard. Now, if we click on it, um, there's things we can change. We can change the company name if we wanted to. Um, we can change the job title, the location. We actually have, we can set a salary. What was it? 65 to 100 hour hourly so we can do 65 to 100 hourly okay so we can change the salary we can click update it should persist and we can go to the second tab so right now we're in the first tab um, let's go to the second tab uh, of our nav bar and we can see key dates that we can add so like deadline this is basically just the date picker um, lets you set important dates about uh, your uh, your specific job Okay, so the next one over in our nav bar is this task. Um, so we can add tasks. So maybe um, these there's a task that I created and you can actually just click on one of these. But if you don't like these, you can actually have your own. You can have your own content like, uh, but for the most part, um, I think these should suffice. So let's say I wanna tweak resume for this job and I'm gonna set a due date of tomorrow. Um, well today is the 12th so t t tomorrow is the th 13th so I'm gonna save that and let's say I got I got I got it done early so I can just check it off the list by clicking it okay so that's basically tasks you can add as many as you want for that job and then on the next uh, section over on a nav bar we have this little file icon when we click that we can actually upload our resume and cover letter for um, for the job. So let me see, I have a resume here, we'll upload there. I wanna pick a cover letter here. And then when we click upload, it's gonna send, it's gonna post this and send these files to Firebase. And Firebase is gonna give back a link for us to view it. So now um, you can see our, well, you can see my resume and you can also see my cover letter here. So, um, what's nice about this is that when you when you're applying to jobs, uh, 
a lot of jobs um, require. So when you apply to jobs, you want to tweak your resume and cover letter a little bit for that specific job. And this helps you basically just keep track of it. Um, so the next section over is just a calendar, which is very useful uh, and it goes well with uh, the task. So yeah, that's all guys. Um, this is this app is uh, fairly useful. Um, I'm definitely using it when I'm doing my job uh, when I'm on my job search. So I uh, hope you guys like it. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description so you can sign up and create your own uh, account and also I will leave the source code, which you can look through as well. Um, it's, gonna, it's just going to be my GitHub link. So yeah, thank you guys and have a good day.